about the program. Welcome to the interactive Cisco IP phone training program. Our training program allows you to learn about the phone's features and functionality at your own pace. And once you've finished, you can continue to utilize this tutorial as a reference tool. You may watch the program from start to finish, or you can jump to any topic by opening the menu and selecting a specific section. So, to get started, make a selection, or simply sit back and enjoy this step-by-step -step demonstration about your Cisco IP telephone. Buttons and Hardware Your Cisco 7800 series phones includes a handset with light strip that flashes for an incoming call, or remains lit when you have new voicemail. Phone screen shows information about your phone, displays the date, time, your phone number, line status with caller ID, and the soft key options. Line or speed dial buttons. Initiates a call, speed dials a number, or ends a call. The 7821 model has two buttons. The 7841 has four, and the 7861 has 16 buttons. Because the 7841 model has two additional buttons on the right side, the phone has a split screen. Any buttons not being used as line buttons may be used for speed dials or feature buttons. Buttons illuminate to indicate status. A steady green indicates an active call. Flashing green is a call on hold. Flashing amber indicates an incoming call. A steady red light shows a shared line in use remotely. And a flashing red indicates a shared line call put on hold remotely. Soft keys perform a variety of function and calling options and change depending on the state of the phone. Navigation key and select button allows the user to scroll through menus. Use the select button to select a highlighted option. Feature buttons. The dedicated buttons on the left provide access to voicemail, applications, and directories. The feature buttons on the right are used to hold, transfer, and conference. Dialing pad. Use the dial pad buttons to dial a phone number. Volume button. Used in coordination with the sound control buttons to control the speaker, headset, and mute. The back of the phone includes a DC adapter power port, a network port, an access port connection for a PC, an auxiliary port where you can connect an EHS cable, a headset, and a handset port. Sound control. Volume. Press plus or minus on the volume button to adjust the volume. For example, to adjust the volume on the handset, lift it and then press plus or minus until the desired volume is achieved. The same process can be repeated to adjust the volume for the ringer, headset, or speaker. Mute. Press mute to mute a call in progress. When the microphone is muted, the button illuminates red. To take a call off mute, press mute again. Speaker. Press speaker to use the speakerphone. To take a call off speakerphone, press the speakerphone button again or lift the handset. Headset. This key is used to answer and end calls using the headset connected to the phone. The button is lit and the headset icon appears in the top bar when the headset is activated. Ringtone. You can customize your phone and set your individual preferences. To change the ringtone, press the Applications key. Use the Navigation key to scroll and select Preferences, and then Ringtone. Note, the current selected ringtone name will be highlighted and checked. Use the Navigation key again to scroll through the list of ring types, and press the Play Soft key to hear a sample of the selected ring type. When you find the desired ring, press the Set Soft key then press the Apply Soft key to confirm your selection.
your selection will be checked. Press the back arrow to return to the Preferences screen, and then exit. Contrast. You may want to customize the contrast level of the LCD screen. By default, the contrast is set to 50%. To adjust the contrast, press the Applications key. On the Navigation key, use the buttons to scroll and select Preferences. Select Contrast. Press the navigation buttons up to increase or down to decrease contrast. Press the Save Soft key to set the level or cancel to exit. Answer Calls When a new call rings on your phone, you will see a few indicators. A flashing light on the handset, a flashing light on the line button, and a ringing call icon displays with caller ID information. You can answer a call by lifting the handset. Or, if you have a headset connected, press the blinking line button or press the Answer Soft key to connect to the call with the headset. Otherwise, pressing the blinking line button or pressing the Answer Soft key will trigger the speakerphone automatically. The call now shows the connected call icon and the call timer is displayed. If a second call comes in, while you are already on a connected call, the second caller's ID information will briefly display. You must press the blinking line button to connect the second call, and the first call will automatically be placed on hold. Notice the top bar now displays a call count and lets you know which call is displayed. To switch between connected calls, press the More Soft key until you see the swap soft key. You can also press the blinking line button of the held call to swap between calls and the other call will automatically be placed on hold. To end a call, press the end call soft key. To end a call on hold, you must resume the call first. Make calls. Use the following options to make calls. Enter the number you wish to dial. If you make a mistake while dialing, use the Backspace Soft key. When you are finished, press the Call Soft key. To place a call while another call is active, put the Active Call on hold and press the New Call Soft key. To make an outside call, hold down the Star key for two seconds to get the plus sign for plus dialing. Then, enter the full local or long distance number and press the Call Soft key. Use the Redial Soft key to dial the last number placed from the phone. If you have set up speed dials, enter a speed dial code and use the Speed Dial Soft key. For quick access when the phone is idle, press the Down button for speed dials and the Up button for placed calls. If you try to reach someone and you get a busy signal, voicemail, or the call is not answered, you may use the callback feature to let you know when that person is available to talk. If enabled, callback appears on your phone as a feature button or a soft key. While listening to the busy tone or a ring sound, press callback. A confirmation screen displays on the phone. Press exit to exit the confirmation screen. When the person you are trying to reach becomes available, you will receive an audio and a visual notification on your phone when the line is free. Press Dial to place the call again. For more information about the callback feature, contact your system administrator. Hold and Transfer To put a call on hold, press the Hold key. The Hold icon appears and the LED indicator Pulse is green. To resume the call, press the hold key again or press the pulsing green line button. You can also use the soft key to put a call on hold as well as resume a call on hold. To transfer a connected call, first press the transfer key. The call will be placed on hold. Then dial the transfer recipient's number. To complete the transfer without talking to the recipient, Wait for the transfer recipient's phone to ring, press the transfer key again, 
and then hang up. If your phone has on-hook transfer enabled, you can just hang up. Ask your phone administrator if on-hook transfer has been enabled. You can also use the soft keys to transfer connected calls. Forward calls. Call forward allows you to forward calls on your phone to another number. For your primary line, you can set up call forward all directly on your phone. For all other lines, or to access call forward all remotely, go to your user options web pages. To forward all calls, press the forward all soft key. Then, you enter the call forward target phone number exactly as you would dial it from your phone. Look for the Forward All icon on your screen. To cancel call forwarding, press the Forward Off soft key. Conference Use the Conference feature when you want to connect multiple callers. While on a call, press the Conference key. Enter a participant's phone number. After the phone begins to ring, press the Conference key again to begin the conference call. You can also use the soft keys to initiate and connect a conference call. The conference begins and the phone displays conference instead of caller ID. Repeat the steps to add more participants. When you want to combine existing calls that are already on your phone, connected or holding, use the conference hard key or soft key. While on an active call, verify that you have at least two connected calls. Press the conference hard key or soft key and the line button for the calls on hold. If there is only one call on hold on the target line, a screen will appear asking the user to confirm that you want to join the call by clicking the yes soft key and the conference will set up immediately with the active call. If there is more than one call on hold on the target line, a screen with the held calls list will show up for the user to choose. The user selects the call and clicks conference soft key or hard key to establish the conference with the active call. Remember, if you place a conference call on hold, all members of the conference call may hear hold music. Use the mute button instead. To view and remove conference participants during a conference, press the detail soft key. To remove a participant from the call, highlight a name and press Remove. The conference ends when all participants hang up. Meet Me Conference A Meet Me Conference allows you to start or join a conference by dialing a conference number. You must first obtain a Meet Me Conference Station number from your system administrator and distribute the number to participants. Then. Initiate a new call and press the Meet Me soft key. You may need to press the More soft key first. Next, dial the Meet Me conference number. If you hear a busy tone, you called the conference before the initiator has joined. Please call back later. To end a Meet Me conference, all participants must hang up. The conference does not automatically end when the conference initiator disconnects. Contacts. The Cisco IP7800 series phones provide you with access to contacts using the personal and corporate directories. To view these directories, press the Contacts button. The personal directory will allow you to access your personal address book and fast dials. You can set up and maintain your personal directory using your phone or by using your user options web pages. The corporate directory will allow you to access employee names and phone numbers. You can search for a coworker's name and number and then dial that number from the corporate directory. Call history. To view missed, placed, or received calls, press the applications button and select call history. The last 150 calls display. To sort to view only missed calls, press the Missed Call soft key. To dial from call history, scroll to a call and press the Select button 
in the navigation pad, or the call soft key. Press edit dial if you need to edit the number to add an outside line number or long distance access code. To view details for a call, highlight the call and press the detail soft key. From the call history screen, you can clear the history by selecting all calls or just the call you would like to delete. Press clear. You may need to press the more soft key first. Press delete to delete the call history list or press cancel to go back to the call history screen. Shared lines. If you share a line with a coworker or an administrative assistant, you share a phone number. Either you or your coworker can answer a ringing call on the shared line. When your coworker has a call on the shared line, your shared line button is solid red. When your coworker puts a call on hold, the session button on your phone pulses red. You or your coworker can resume the call. They can also barge a call that you are handling on the shared line. Barging a call means joining your call by turning the call into a conference. You will typically hear a beep and your phone screen will change to display conference details. To prevent this from happening, use the private feature button. To verify that privacy is enabled, look for the private enabled icon next to an amber line button. This will block others with whom you share a line from being able to barge in on your shared line call. Press the private feature button again to disable. Group pickup. To answer a call that is ringing another extension within your group, press an available line button. You may need to press the more soft key and the pickup soft key. The call now rings on your phone. To answer a call that is ringing on another extension outside of your group, press an available line button and the group pickup soft key. Enter the call group pickup code number provided by your system administrator. The call now rings on your phone. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial.